Welcome back. Um, I hope the little background noise you hear doesn't bother you too much. Um, there's actually quite a wind blowing outside. Anyway, I've um, added more colour. I wet this area and I'd already marked in with the fine felt tip um, round those dots and of course it's water based so it's run a bit but I don't mind, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'll put some mauve in and more orange and with the fine felt tip I've done lots of detail. I don't know, I just felt like doing it and that looks like a cluster of frog spawn. <laughs> if any of you are familiar with frog spawn in ponds. Um, but I like it. It also reminds me of a, a lacy doily that people put under cakes and things. Um, so I've just been messing about really with, with the, the fine felt tip. And you know, I've really enjoyed doing it because there was no pressure involved whatsoever. Um, you know, if I'm painting for uh, demonstrating, or it's for an exhibition or it's a commission, it can be quite a stressful process. But this, there was no, no reason to it. It had no raison d'etre, if you like. Um, it was just doing it for the pleasure and I really did enjoy doing it. I enjoyed watching all the colours mix and play and I particularly enjoyed doing the fine fiddly work. And I might do, in fact I will, I will do a little bit more and post the finished item. So I hope that has given you some ideas of how to, well, not pass the time, but how to use your time that you may not be sure what you want to do with, to do something that's going to maybe still your mind and calm you a little bit and give you some enjoyment. Everybody's in such a hurry these days and we have so many things demanding our attention, technology in particular, even though you're doing this over the internet, thank goodness. Um, but you know, you sometimes need just to go back to some basics and just making marks and playing with paint is a great way to do it. So I do hope you have enjoyed this, either as a meditative therapy type of procedure, or if you want to go on doing more, as I say, structured painting and pictures, that it helps you to understand your colours, how they work with the water, and different ideas, different things you can bring in together to have an interesting and a happy elk. Come. So thank you very much for watching this. Um, I'm going to play with this a bit longer because I want to, so that's good, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.